<clears throat> when you walk away a step, we can even give him a little bit more slack and just walk away exactly, keep walking, 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 and then stop, and then he has more space to follow you and also to keep the distance. <clears throat> yeah. Just walk away exactly and let him uh, uh, hit that pressure by himself. And he will definitely uh, try to jump away when you unclip. So just give him a nice rub. And if he jumps, yeah, pull him back and give him, yeah, give him a reward there. <clears throat> Good. And before, when he is like expecting this when you feel that he anticipates it so much, give him a rub and walk away. Give him a rub and walk away. Just that he gets a little bit out of this crazy. Yeah, and just walk a little round. Yeah, there you go. Good. And we repeat that one or two more times. And see him uh, licking and chewing now, so I would like him to, to just relax a little bit. Give him a nice rub. When you feel that he relaxes, then you walk a little round again. Good. Good, very nice rub. And then when you see that he relaxes, then just easily go to the clip and unclip him and, and don't, yeah. Just let him go. Don't, no. Because when they anyway jump away, you don't have to like push them. Just let them go. And now just let them go a little bit. Um, so if you have a horse who is so responsive, try to let them trot one round before you really push him into a canter. Because otherwise it just um, put more pressure on so the next time he thinks he needs to jump away again. Yeah, that's good. That's good energy. Now just step here. So you see how sensitive he is? You don't even need your life with him. Just your own energy. Good. communicating already quite a, a bit, so therefore you can just shorten your turn up a little bit and turn him again. If you see that he, yeah, good. What are you, uh, <coughs> what would you like to have else of him? What is that? Mm -hmm.
we're starting to lose you a little bit. Yeah, so either way, you're gonna ask, uh, like, up in energy with your hand a little bit, so just to bring him up again, just a little, and then, yeah, keep working, keep working. Good. Good. And then close your finger down. And see if this is um, encouraging a little bit more of communication, but this force here, that's a pretty good uh, lowering of the head for him. He won't go all the way. <coughs> so I would not wait too much longer. One more time into the center. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe sometimes just try one more time, be a little bit more active now. And I mean, he did give you the few steps in the beginning, so uh, just see if you can get one or two more steps and then take it and give him a reward. Yeah. And see that, that he, yeah, good. So you have to be really have him in the in your peripheral view because he is just standing there. So you have to be a little bit more more in, like active and demanding, like that you would like him. Yeah, there you go. Good, and give him a rub for that. So with all that, you you see sometimes you just if you try it one or two times in the same kind of attitude and it doesn't work, you have to change it, like, um, to be a little bit more... Good. <clears throat> yeah. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, and see if you can get it, okay, and if not, then you go back. Thank <laughs> you. 